Good day folks, how are you doing? So today I find myself back here in Puncha Alam at Chris's place. This is the guy that's uh, very very good at drive shafts and steering racks and uh, also any sounds that you're, that you're getting from the front. And yes, I am getting a funny wheel bearing sound coming from the front. It's like a grow 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 kind of sound when the, when the car is on the move and also a little bit of uh, judder when I'm accelerating. So they're checking out now what's going on with the drive shafts as well as the wheel bearings. Thankfully the steering rack is okay. And uh, let me just give you a very quick tour. As you walk around, you're gonna see drive shafts all over the place. Because Chris's shop, his specialty is actually drive shafts and steering racks. And uh, he recently put up a new sign. A lot of people have asked, where's this shop? And uh, I can't even tell them what the sign looks like, but now he's got a new sign. <laughs> Done by one of his workers on a on a car's bonnet extra points if you can guess what bonnet this car this sign is written on but here we go this is chris's shop the last time i was here it, this wasn't there so yeah and he's got a uh, signboard holders in the form of old tires this is really great diy stuff so welcome to chris's drive shaft and steering rack shop if you walk in here you can see a whole bunch of them and this is where they actually refurbish the drive shafts uh, what you can do is if your drive shaft has a problem, you can drive in, he'll give you a, a refurbished set, take, takes your set, refurbishes them and gives them a second lease of life. So there we go. Most of the time now these drive shafts are built very strong so they can actually be refurbished, different different parts of it. They're all there, categorized and catalogued in, in a system, not a Dewey Decimal system but only a system that Chris understands and uh, his workers do of course but yeah here we go they, they refurbish them and there, there's there's the man himself over there hey chris what's up so these are all the uh, steering racks that have been refurbished and also the drive shafts so once once they're completely uh totally refurbished they'll be wrapped up like this and uh waiting for a new owner waiting for a new buyer and these are where the steering racks live. You can see bunches and bunches of steering racks for all kinds of different cars. So if you've got a lot of steering rack free play or uh, sounds coming from your steering rack, you can bring it over here. And if he has one already refurbished for your car, he'll just fit that for you and take yours in as a trade-in. Then uh, refurbish it, make it like new, recon it as they say, and uh, sell it off to the next buyer. So yeah, this is, this is kind of like recycling at its finest actually. There are many, many parts for a car that can actually be recycled. Uh, car manufacturers call it plant obsolescence, but that's more for recycling the plastics and stuff like that. But this is actual hardware that can be recycled and be reused. Most of the time it's the tie rod ends, like the one on my Saga, the tie rod ends are the ones that go. So he puts in new tie rod ends and the steering rack is um, serviced and ready to go. These are whole bunches of already refurbished steering racks. No idea which car they came from, only he knows. But uh, yeah, lower arms as well. So the mainstay of his business for the last 20 years has actually been drive shafts and steering racks all over the place. And uh, yeah, so if you need anything, if you need any work on your drive shaft or you need any work on your steering rack, I'll leave a contact number and uh, address in the description. You can just come over like what these guys have done. They just wait, the steering racks are taken off. Uh, we focus one, fit it in, and uh, yeah, so there it is. Chris's shop. I've known this guy for so many years, and if I had any uh, problems with my steering racks and uh, drive shafts, this is the guy I come to. Okay, anyway, just a very quick update. And uh, oh, 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 one thing, one thing. Anybody looking for a project car? Because uh, he's selling off this. Yeah, since you're here, I might as well show it to you. And yeah, it's bloody hot actually. But uh, why did he go and park it so far away? But you can just sort of see it jutting out. Yeah, there we go. So anybody looking for a project car? Yes, this could be yours for not this, not this, not this. But this beautiful Volvo 850, which I am sorely tempted to take over because it's got the 2.5 liter, five cylinder, 20 valve engine, which is magnificent. Yep, so this beautiful project car, which is in need of a lot of love, is for sale. And if you're interested, yeah, hit me up in the comments and uh, I'll put you in touch with Chris or you can actually just uh, 
Nigo with him yourself. I think he was asking for something like 3K or 3.5K or something like that for this lovely, lovely car. It's got these beautiful 17-inch wheels and uh, with the Volvo center caps and everything. It needs a new windscreen because this car has not had road tax for more than uh, two, three years. It needs a new windscreen because as I said in my savvy video, it's got a huge crack here so it will not pass B2 inspection. I'll show you the crack. What I said about uh, a crack not being six inches long, this is way more than six inches long. So yeah, this windscreen will need to be replaced. This car needs a lot of TLC. A oh, very funny story, he actually put on that uh, smaller Volvo rim because he didn't want people to steal all four. He said when people see there's four of the same rim on the car, they'll steal all four. But if they see just one is missing, they won't steal. They won't bother stealing the other three. Even thieves have standards. Yeah, they would want a whole set. So I think the... Uh, because Chris also has a paint shop, you can negotiate with him and uh, maybe get a paint job done for this car. As you can see, it's slightly too tonish. This was uh, candy, candy red. And then he went and painted the other side as a test. Uh, Soul red, Soul Mazda red. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very nice color. So maybe he'll negotiate with him and he'll give you a one side, one side, one outside coat as well. Engine's been overhauled, new gearbox, and the interior is not so bad. Car is locked, I can't open it. But yeah, the uh, dashboard's sort of like delaminated a little bit. This is characteristic of a Volvo 8, 850 and even the uh, even up to the S70, the old 850 T5s, the, the dashboard didn't stand up too well in our climate. But other than that, he's got in the uh, GLE seats. So, very cool. As usual, as you know, Volvo parts are not cheap. So if you want to do up this car, if you want to take on a project, the only thing I can tell you is that I would buy this car solely for the sound of that engine. That 2.5 litre 5 cylinder 20 valve engine, it's just, it makes a remarkable noise. A really very unique, very characteristic um, engine noise. It's, it's just brilliant. I miss my 850 GLT because of that noise. So, you know what, if I ever bought this car, it would be just for that sound. Yeah, I'm crazy that way. Anyway, welcome to the second stupidest automotive channel on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, y'all. Be, be cool, be safe, and I'll talk to you all soon. So, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be out here, but uh, I think it's going to be a while because I can still hear them hacking away or drilling away on my, uh, on my Punto. I'm actually quite afraid to go back because uh, I don't like to see hard, heavy stuff being done on my car. It, it kind of pains me to actually watch it. So, those of you who have actually cut your your roof to make a sunroof and you stood there while they were cutting into your car my hats off to you because I, I, I couldn't bear to see that it's like uh, too painful absolutely too painful okay why am I rambling I'm sorry uh, kind of bored here so yeah I'm just rambling anyway, I'll stop now take care y'all bye bye